Hi friends, Simit here from InformTrades.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about fractals, what they are, and how individuals can use them to trade the world's financial markets. Let's get started. Okay, key points. <clears throat> First is that fractals are a five-candle reversal stick candle pattern. Five-candle reversal candle stick pattern. Uh, second is that they are a lagging indicator a bit, so they're, uh, they're a little late to the game. Standard technical analysis rules apply mainly by looking for confirmation from other indicators as well as using multiple time frames. That's one way of, uh, of using confirmation as well, wanting to see the same type of fractal pattern show up on, on both time frames, shorter time frames and higher time frames. Uh, but ultimately, the simplest way of thinking of fractals is that they're swing points. So if you're familiar with the concept of swing points, that's basically the same uh, concept here as fractals. If you're not familiar, when we uh, take a look at them, you'll get a clearer idea. Okay, so what is a fractal uh, pattern look like? Like we mentioned, it's a five candle reversal stick candlestick pattern, reversal candlestick pattern. <laughs> um, and basically is looking at this chart here, ideal bearish fractal, you want to see the third candle is the key. And in, in, in the context of an uptrend, if the third candle is the highest high, has that high, um, then that's, your, that's a sign that it's time to switch or time to short. In the downtrend, if we see that the third candle has the lowest low, and then we also have a pattern of, of higher lows, um, then that's a sign to buy. So basically, we want to see the middle candle, that third candle, either form the highest high or the lowest low, um, and then we want to see it sort of trail in the beginnings of a trend line form, where the fourth candle ideally has a lower high, and then the fifth candle has a lower high in the context of a bearish uh, trend as well as the fourth candle has a higher low or a higher, uh, higher low than the third candle, and the fifth candle has a higher low than the fourth candle in the context of a bullish fractal. So here, you can also see it a little more clearly here. You know, we're going up. Imagine also in a, if we're in an uptrend, that's where it's a reversal, so it's even more powerful if you see an uptrend. Imagine the chart started here, goes up and up, and then you see this pattern here. Th three up candles here, and the third one here, the, uh, the highest point, highest high, and then we have a lower high, and then we have another lower high. Um, and once we, at this point, we now get our short signal. All right, the trend appears to be over. So if you've been in the uptrend from the bottom, you may want to take profits. Uh, if not, you can uh, reverse, or you can do both. You could, you know, just stop and reverse. Um, and the same, you can see this concept here, you know. Highest high, the two candles before and the two candles after are lower. Lowest low, two candles before and two candles after are higher. And that's our key. So it's a swing point, basically. You can identify this, look at the candles before and the ones after it. This is a key turning point in the market. So in terms of actually trading this, here's a really nice example. And we see it bouncing off the 50 uh, simple moving average. So that's another sign. That ties into the idea of wanting to look for confirmation. Uh, so we see the market goes up against 50, candles, 50 simple day moving average. We have a fractal pattern. We can confirm the fractal pattern here. And then if we had a stop order or we had an entry order to sell at, at the, uh, on a pullback to the 50 simple moving average or even on a break below these candles here, um, that sort of gives us, a, we have a big move down. We could potentially take stop or take profit or move the break even here at this low. Uh, you know, exactly where to exit is dependent. Some people will trade fractals. You know, you, you enter one fractal and you exit when you see another fractal. So we have another fractal here in that, Here's the low. It's, it's just barely higher than this low here, um, but we can exit when we see that too. So that's one way of, of trading it. Another fractal. Um, here's our, you know, here's this box, as you can see, it contains the five candlesticks. This third candlestick has the lowest low, right? So then we break out. After this candle, we have the, this fifth candle that shows that this uh, low is higher than this candle. That's our cue to enter. Uh, we look at stochastics here. We get confirmation there. You can, you can use a, a number of indicators to get your confirmation. And then you're off and running. And then you may want to go all the way up until here's a fractal, which we have confirmed a, a bearish fractal, which we can confirm uh, by this candle here. Um, this candle is also a bearish fractal. And uh, this one is too. So you get a couple suboptimal signals, I meaning you could enter here and you could take profit here. That's not, uh, ideally, you know, you could wait and take profit here, although hindsight's always 20-20. But that's another way of trading, you know, entering on one fractal, exit when you see another fractal. 
Um, that's sort of one way of looking at it. You know, also looking at other indicators and seeing when's the true, ha identifying, knowing the risk reward you want to target, and as well as your exit strategy. That's part of the game, of course, as it is with any trade. And that's sort of it. Just a basic overview of fractals. Uh, any questions you have, anything you want to add, join us at informedtrades.com. Best of luck in your trading, and we'll see you next time. Take care.